So what is going on people and welcome to episode 46 of the Barnsley Career Mode here on FIFA 21. Today is going to be a bit of a bumper episode so if you are looking forward to it make sure you pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss out on any further content as we head ever closer to the next season here on FIFA 21. And well today as I mentioned a bit of a bumper episode. We're going to play a few games, try and get the season done maybe an episode earlier than we would have done maybe try and get uh this episode out today maybe the final episode out tomorrow hopefully so that maybe we can start the new season next week so the plan today is we're going to play the first five games well we're not going to play all of them we're going to do the first five games of april we'll leave arsenal till tomorrow because we only have two games in the month of may so we are going to include today the games away at southampton which i will play the home game against Sheffield United, which I will sim. Then we will play the games against Newcastle and City before simming the last game away at Brighton. Um, there's quite a few teams around us, actually. Southampton, she well, Sheffield United and Newcastle are all fairly close to us. Sheffield United are the lowest um, of the home games, so that's the one we'll sim. Brighton are in the relegation zone as well, so it probably makes sense to sim that one. If we have a look at the Premier League table then as it stands we head into the run in eight games left of the season as you can see we are in sixth place 52 points Chelsea ahead of us in fifth on uh, four points ahead of us Arsenal six points ahead of us in the last Champions League spot Europe still a possibility it might be unlikely but uh, yeah you know we'll give it our best shot between now and the end of the season our league form recently hasn't been great but you see what I was on about Newcastle you know, they're not really that close to us. I mean, positionally they are. Points-wise, they're nine points behind. Newcastle are there. Southampton are there. Sheffield United are there as well. Obviously, City, you know, in the title fight, I believe. Yeah, five points off of United. Um, and then Brighton, as I said, all the way down in the relegation zone as well. So, yeah, that's how we'll do things today. Um, but, yeah, without any further ado, let's play this first game against Southampton. So this is the Southampton lineup then for the first game. McCarthy in goal, back four, Walker Peters, Briancon, Hinterega and Malassia, Josh Sims, Lamina, Guendouzi and Boga in the midfield, Batshuayi and Che Adams up front. 4-4-2 four, four, for Southampton. Just looking at their options on the bench. Got Mere on the bench, who's a decent goalkeeper. And uh, Alex Awobi, I noticed there as well. We are um, going to, well, I say we are. Kucinovic is still in the lineup after his goal against Leeds. We've decided to keep him there. There's been a bit more growth in the squad as well, which is nice. Baku's now up to 79. Lovely tackle there from Decore. Um, but yeah, so uh, the team is struggling a little bit for fitness, but hopefully that won't impact us too much. Maybe I can rotate for the game against Sheffield United. But for now, let's concentrate on our game at St Mary's. Decore out wide to Ailton. Kasinovic is making the run inside. Oh, Briancon does well to come across and get a foot in. I was just going to turn inside with Kasinovic. But we'll uh, try and get the corner in. Ailton aim for Helic. Oh, and he gets his head on it. But over the bar, hits the support beam behind the goal. Back to Boga. Plays a 1 2 with Che Adams. Doing really well down this left-hand side, but Decore is in fantastically. And we can break now. Thomas Silva's made the move. Has he stayed on side? He has indeed. Fabio Silva oh, tries to beat McCarthy at his near post. But the keeper equal to it. Try and find Helic once again. Sims is there at the front post. And Boga could maybe come away with it. Decore's tried to take him down. Well, luckily for us, Adams... Has given away the ball, but the advantage is already gone. Silva, wait for the run of Baku. Get this ball in. Sangali is there. Oh, a bit of a mix-up. Oh, and it's somehow managed to get away. Priyankon does just about enough to get this one away from goal. That's a lovely ball for Fabio Silva. And Gusinovic could be in behind here. Mijan Kucinovic, he's found the back of the net again, two games in a row. That was a very, very simple goal from the throw-in. Sangali finds Silva, 
Gusinovic makes the run. It's the goal that we probably are a bit famous for. Runs from midfield. Gusinovic, he was on the thumbnail in the last episode. Oh, well, he's loving his spot in the limelight at the moment. We lead 1-0. Well, we've got Baku who steps in. Well, will we get one more chance before the half? Baku's got the pace to get away from his man. Steaming into the area is Ridley Baku. Back to Silva. And he is not going to miss a chance like that. We double our lead here on the south coast. Really good play from Baku. Who steams into the area. I was actually going to look for Sangali. But in the end... Hinteregger abandoned his post, left Silva all alone. And well, his 17th goal of the season, chasing that golden boot on the stroke of half time, were literally the last kick of the first half. And well, this is exactly what we needed. Looks like we're going to win this game, not counting my chickens yet. But, uh, you know, we're looking good so far in this game. And now we've got a free kick to defend in a dangerous area. Boga is the one to whip it in. Ailton is there at the front post to get it away. But Sims on the edge. Finds Che Adams. Helic is out to him. And uh, Lamina gets the shot in. Straight down the throat though of Adam Davis. And maybe we can break. And Frieza has made a great run. And Kasinovic has found him. Frieza all on his own. We'll cut this one back. And Fabio Silva has another one. Okay, yes, it might be a bit sweaty. But... You're telling me you wouldn't do that in that situation? Bursting forward, you knew Hinteregger had to come over at some point. And Silva has grabbed his second goal of the game. And I think now, let's uh, make some changes, bring on some fresh legs, try and save some of these players. And they've given the ball away here. That's a foul. Okay, look, Thomas will take this one. They're falling apart, Southampton. They're at sixes and sevens. And we could get a ball in here. And Silva's there. And Silva has grabbed himself a hat trick. They gave away the ball straight from kickoff. The boos ring out around St Mary's. They are being absolutely put to the sword here. But yeah, just a mix up from kickoff. Thomas receives the ball. It's a lovely cross. Silva gets the wrong side of Hinteregger. And well, he certainly will be looking for that golden boot now. A hat trick takes him up to 19 goals this season. Adams. Oh. Again, Helic is there. He's been superb. What a ball that is. And now we can break once again. Gusinovic again is forward. Gusinovic. Can he find another one? He can. What a convincing finish as well. Swept that home with some power into the bottom corner. No need to sweaty that one that time. <clears throat> Just a lovely finish. The freedom of Southampton to work with. His second goal of the game, his third in the last two, game over. Well and truly game over. Lovely step in from Dudziak and again we can come forward. Silver waits for the run, what a lovely ball. A Kellen Camp is in, finds Kasinovic, what a finish that is. The ball across was not convincing whatsoever, but the finish from Kasinovic certainly was. Lovely little ball, a Kellen Camp Wanted to get Kasinovic's hat trick off the bar into the side netting on his weak foot as well. Well, two hat tricks for two different players in this game. We've absolutely ruined Southampton today. Lovely ball to Silva. And is that Rostovsky who's made the burst forward? He has indeed. Rostovsky finds a Kellen Camp. It's seven. It's. I don't understand how this has been so easy. I mean, okay, early doors, they were showing gaps. So it was easy to tear them apart. But since they've started going goals down, they've just thrown men forward. And you've seen it, you know, we play a ball through. And then all of a sudden, there's one defender against four attackers. So, you know, it's just it's just been ridiculous. Um, bit of a change in form from the last game, you know. Considering at the end of last episode we couldn't even beat, uh, couldn't even beat what's it called, um, Leeds who were rock bottom. Oh, I was gonna play a ball through, but that's yeah, uh, couldn't quite get it off for Kellen Camp. Plays in freezer though. Sorry, I missed that. Could oh, you say it again, please? Okay. Sorry, Siri, I wasn't talking to you, mate. No need to apologise. <laughs> okay, as we end the game, um, 
thanks for that appearance there, Siri. I don't know how that happened. But, uh, yeah. Hat trick for Silva. Kucinovic will be disappointed he doesn't get a match ball. But, um, yeah, sorry. That, <laughs> that's thrown me off completely. 7-0. Um, yeah, we'll take it. Seven shots on target and they all went in. Southampton still had more possession than us. Interesting. Um, Chelsea won 5-0 against West Ham. Christ. Did Silva's hat-trick surprise you? Um, Silva just loves to play. I think any striker loves to play and score goals, don't they? Were you surprised by how comfortable a victory that was? Um, the lads up front were ruthless. Absolutely. They asked me again about bloody Peacock Farrell making his debut. But, you know, <laughs> don't really know what I can say other to that. So, uh, we're still sixth. Still four points behind Chelsea. Six points behind Arsenal. The dream is still alive. Right. Simmed game against Sheffield United next. Right. There is a press conference ahead of this Yorkshire derby. Arguably a bigger derby than Leeds, I would say. Barnsley and Sheffield really not that far apart. Um, he'll take his chance when it comes. Peacock Farrell. Hate that question whenever you don't play a new signing. Can you turn Sheffield United over again? Um, the lads can't wait. Of course, players are always up for a derby game. Do you have Sheffield United worried? Um, uh, I guess, yeah, we were excellent. I guess it's referring to the last game. Um, that game was massive for goal difference. But yeah, uh, I, I should hope they are worried. Right, so we'll go in. Going to make a couple of changes potentially to the team. Okay, so we've made one change to our team. Akel and Camp has come in to partner Gusinovic in the middle of midfield. Just feel like giving him a run out, especially after his goal as well. Um, so Sangali drops to the bench. But this is the Sheffield United team foddering him with goal. Back three of Shatino, Daiku and Mancini. Wing backs of Bulldog and Osborne. In the middle of midfield, Jorginho, Amiri and Baselli with Rebic and Mina up front. That's a decent front five, you know. But we'll quick sim it. Hopefully we can pick up a decent result in this one. And... 3-1 defeat, of course it is. Mateta, okay, so their team wasn't even that team. A Kellenkamp scored. Uh, Mateta put the 1-0 up, then we equalised. Mateta grabbed another goal, and Paulson rounded it out. Well, that's disappointing. I said the front five was good, and it kind of proved in that game. Okay, well, not the best of preparations for uh, the trip to Man City, as now Spurs move ahead of us in the table. Oh, and that would have been a great... Okay, Chelsea haven't played yet. Never mind. To City we travel next. So here's the City lineup. then. Edison in goal. Cancelo, Sula, Laporte and Angelino at the back. So bits of Rodri and De Bruyne, the midfield three. Bernardo Silva, Griezmann and Sterling, the front three. Absolute stacked squad. Not that many options on the bench, though. It must be said. Mara is there, but that's really about it. Um... But yeah, City, um, they're two points off the top. United have played a game more. So if they beat us today, then they will go top. Also, Sterling is the top goal scorer in the division. So we've got to try and keep him amongst others quiet. Um, as you can see, the one change there on screen. Uh, Kellen Camp is in good goal scoring form. A couple of goals in his last games. So he has come in to replace uh, Gusinovic. As Blue Moon rings around the S he had. Um, but yeah, so Akelin Camp in for Gusinovic, Sangali back to the starting lineup. City playing it about nicely, Rodri and Griezmann, just a few passes exchanged between them. Footwork from Sabitzer is lovely. Oh, and he absolutely does a bit, uh, does decorate Griezmann. Helic, what a ball that is, my word. The back heel, I don't think he even looked, did he? Just had the faith that someone would be running. Uh, he had maybe a slight glance, but even so, facing the other way, back heels it into an open space. So bits up from there is not going to miss. Wow. Okay. This really is a good City side, and they are motivated as well because they want to win the league. A Kellen Camp Freezer has made the run. It's a good ball out to him, to be fair. Runners from midfield as well. Oh, he just hasn't got the space. Cancelo gets back well. <sighs> It's like Chelsea all over again. Just, you know, they're playing so well. It's just... It's annoying, of course, because obviously you don't want to lose, but at the same time, you can't help but just be like, yeah, okay, you know, you are better than me. That's, that's fair. 
Oh, that was risky from Helic. Luckily, it's actually gone backwards. And there's a run being made. And Sangali could be away here. Lucas Sangali. Can he get away from him? Oh. Driven low across the floor. And it's just wide of the post. As soon as I shot that, I had a feeling it wasn't going in. And Decore is making a burst forward here. Oh, okay, that was... There we go. Freezer, can he bend one? Oh, it's comfortable for Edison. And that's the last action of the half. 1-0 it is to City. They've looked dangerous every time they go forward. But we've had a couple of chances. So, you know, maybe we could sneak a goal. Griezmann comes forward, plays in Bernardo Silva. Medina comes across, forces them. Oh, it's a mistake. And now a Kellenkamp is... Oh, he hasn't got the pace, though. He's got the touch, though. And Sangali. Oh, it's a great save from Edison. Oh, just forced him a little too wide on that left foot. It's a great save from Edison, sticking out his arm. Can we break now? Campbell. Silva. Needs runners. He's got them. It's Ridley Baku. He's got the pace to get away. As Ridley Baku. He's... Oh, no. I was waiting for the pass across goal and... The touch. Oh, I should have just taken a shot. Serves me right for trying to be sweaty. Can back up in the header? No, he can't. Well, I think that was certainly our best opportunity to get an equaliser. Unless, unless. Silver. Oh, just <laughs> trying to get the touch around the portway and he read it. Oh, it's not going to be our day today. I'm so gutted because I knew, I knew City would be tough. The hair is an absolute mess. I do apologise. Um, I knew this was going to be tough, but they gave us chances and we've just absolutely fluffed them. They've had two shots all game. We've had more shots. So disappointing. City go top of the league then, for the time being anyway. Oh, right, come on. At home against Newcastle, the final played game of the episode. We need to like improve now. This is the Newcastle lineup then for the final played game. Freddie Woodman in goal. Malqui, Paulista, Fernandez, and Lewis at the back. Lazaro, Hendrick, Paulinho, and Sam Maximan in midfield. With Osimen and Carlos Fernandez up front. Ihitaran on the bench as well, as well as Patrick Schick. Uh, he's certainly made a name for himself at this Euros, hasn't he? But, uh, yeah, I'd rather this one turn out a bit more like Southampton um, than it did for uh, the Man City game, that's for sure. Uh, one chase to the side, Gasinovic is in for a Kellen camp. Um, other, though, other than that, we're, uh, as as you would expect, of Baku charging into the Newcastle half hit. Try and get a ball in if we can. Oh, and actually... I would have preferred it to be Silva to challenge the keeper there, but uh, wouldn't let me change player, as it always doesn't on FIFA. Oh, there you go. Top right hand or top our left hand corner. Look at that. 150th game in charge of Barnsley. You'd love to see it. Frees up. Needs a bit of support, and he gets it. Sangali into the area. Lucas Sangali. 1 0. 9 minutes in. Hopefully, it is going to be just like the Southampton game. They played 4 4 2 just like Newcastle are doing. And we seem to do fairly well against that. And on my 150th game, Sangali gets us off to a wonderful start. Osman, oh, a lovely bit of skill. Fernandez plays it out wide. A little bit loose, but Paulinho will get it on. I wonder if that's the Paulinho from... Um, whether that's the one that was at Leverkusen or whether it's the one that like used to play for Spurs and Barcelona. I imagine... It's probably the one from Leverkusen. I imagine the one that, that played at Spurs and that was quite, um, it, well, especially at this point, he'd probably be retired or close to, I'd imagine. They're keeping the ball nicely hit. Are you abs... Oh, I hate that about... I hate that about FIFA. The near post, I just... Mm, how has he beaten the keeper from there? How has he got to the ball first? Well, actually, no, that's not... I can imagine see him getting to the ball first. How has he wrapped that round the defender with that much venom into the near post? That is what...
pisses me off because that's so unrealistic. That would not happen. Right, we're back level. Sangali out to Thomas. Silva's got a bit of space in the middle. I'll try and run it. Oh, okay. Fernandez has made the mistake. Oh, Silva tries to go across goal. Forces Woodman into the save. We'll whip this one in. Try and get Helic on it if we can. He's there. Is Mikhail Helic? It's headed away though by Paulista. So it will be another corner. Again, try and get this closer to him if we can. Woodman is there and comes and gets the punch, to be fair. Thomas does well to take it off the foot of Osserman. He needs help though, does Luke Thomas. Back here arriving. Oh no, loose touch. He just about manages to outmuscle Jamal Lewis though. We'll go all the way back to Helic. As Kasinovic. Decore has made a good run. Oh, I thought Silver was. He's still going to get there to be fair. Oh, and he's rattled the post. Oh, I shot just sort of like... I didn't think he was going to get there. I didn't think the pass was going to make it. So then when I saw he got there, I just sort of panicked and held down B. And in the end, the shot was decent, but it's rattled against the post. Lazaro again. He's got bodies as well. Oh, he should have whipped that in. Valentino Lazaro. That's one thing that the AI very rarely do, especially on Legendary, I've found. They very rarely will whip a ball into the box. Some maximum into the area. He's got to know how good... Oh, mate, he's absolutely ruined me there. Luckily, Helic has managed to get a toe in. I was about to say we know how good this guy can be. And then he absolutely ruined me. And Osman gets his head on it. But it doesn't trouble the keeper. Silva comes forward. Wait for Freezer to make the run. Instead, we'll look for Sangali. Oh, okay. Kasinovic. Back to Sangali. Thomas is there. Can we bend one? Luke Thomas. Never in danger of threatening the goal, really. <laughs> Looks like we're going to go into the break level. Referee, come on. We're into the sixth minute now of added time. And you've played. You allotted one. And there goes the half-time whistle, finally. But yeah, one all at the break. Newcastle really posing a threat, actually. They've given it away again. And Silva is one-on-one -on -one with his man. He's stepped inside. Oh, the gap's closed, though. Decore. Wait for Freezer. He's in. Dominic Freezer. He's in. absolutely leathered it into the side netting. What a goal that is. Really good play from Decore. I thought, you know, when it comes to it, I was like, oh, okay. But then I saw Freezer. And then it's like he's in so much space. Was going to potentially finesse it into the corner. But saw the defender and how close he was. I was like, I've got to hit this now. Driven low into the side netting. An absolutely brilliant finish. Just need to see this one out now. Oh, I thought Thomas was going to get on that. Lewis puts a ball in. Helic is there though. Silva will come and get that. Lovely. A Kellenkamp. And Freezer could be in again here. Dominic Freezer has he got the pace to get away? I'm going to go for the strike. Oh, and he's finished the game. He has won the game himself. I say he's finished the game himself. He's the last two goals in the final 10 minutes. Dominic Freezer has single handedly won us this game. Lovely little ball from McKellen Camp. But he's got the pace to be able to get away from Malqui. A great strike across the face of goal. Woodman, no chance. Game, set, match, Barnsley. Oh, the relief running through me right now. See how the table sits. Game still in this episode. Sim, the game against Brighton. Oh, okay, no question about it. Finally, very good performance from Visa.
Kai Rekic and Burn in the middle three. Lampy at full back. Nixon Basuma in the middle. Alexander in the behind. Edward and the Kai. Again, some decent players. Pretty much done now, uh, but yeah, three points ahead of Everton. We played the same amount of games as teams below us. It's just a case of if we can catch anyone ahead of us. Um, I think last season we finished. It's either tenth or eighth. I have a feeling it's tenth, but it might be eighth for some reason. Um, but yeah, so that uh, as long as we make an improvement, a seventh certainly would be. Um, but if we have a look, what's to come in the next episode, the final episode of the season. Start with a home game against Arsenal before a trip to West Ham. And we end the season with a home game against Crystal Palace. And I hope you will join me for that one. If you have enjoyed today's episode, guys, a little bit longer, a little bit different to what's been coming out to normal. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have, pop a like on there for me, please. Subscribe to the channel. The support, as ever recently, has been fantastic. And I will see you in the next one.